So let's say you found a suitable product and you want to sell it for your e-commerce business, but you don't know how to find the supplier for any product. Luckily, I'll be showing you some tricks that you can use using Alibaba, AliExpress, 1688 to find the supplier needed for your product. So in this case, I went to Amazon and I found this Blue's Clues doll. Now do realize that you may have risk of copyright infringement. I'm just using Blue's Clues as an example here, but any product you see, you just snap a photo of it, take a screenshot of it on your laptop, or just like if you're going into Walmart or something, you see a product, go ahead and take a snapshot of it. So the first thing I would do, this product right here, it looks like I want to resell it because I think it's, I have the audience and it's a good product for my niche. The first thing I would do is go on Alibaba. You can either type in Blue's Clues or use the reverse image search. Right now, the reverse image search is not working too well, but here you can see, okay, this product looks okay. It's not exactly the same product, but uh, why am I mentioning to first start in Alibaba? So you can get a reference of how much it will cost for USD. This case it has a minimum order of 50, whereas here it's like 20 bucks. That, I think that also includes shipping to your final destination. But uh, yeah, so you start here and then you should be able to get more details about the manufacturer. So usually if you scroll down, you can get more information about the supplier. A pro tip is that if they offer an email or if you can get some kind of a phone number, let's see, contacts, view details. Okay, well, in this case, it's not so transparent on Alibaba. Baba, but you can usually ask for their company mobile phone number and their um, their email and address and all that. And here it says the location and all that. So it seems like this is in Zhejiang, China. You can try and see if you can search their email or their phone number on WeChat. So if you just use your phone, you search under contacts and you put their information, you might be able to find their contact directly on WeChat and just discuss them directly on WeChat, which they love doing for business transactions. So the first step is Alibaba, right? Because then you you have an idea that they have overseas experience and they've actually sold products you know outside of China because there's a difference between the mindset of a supplier that is sold within China and outside of China so the next step I would do is go to 1688 and in 1688 you can also use a reverse image search which I recommend it's a very advanced tool versus a reverse image search on Alibaba and the keyword search especially if you're using English and let's say I want to filter by here are the different filters uh, if you don't read Chinese or understand Chinese uh, let's see if I can change it here. Change my network so I can use Google Translate. So here, there are some places that you can filter or cross border if you want to do it on 168. So if you need certifications or, you know, click I have international certifications, you see it kind of lowers the search you have. They have patents for this. And this is probably a bad example because Blue's Clues is probably an IP product, but you get the point, you can search it there. But more importantly, the area. So here you see Zhejiang. See here, it's Iwu Shintu Import and Export Company. They're located in Zhejiang. You might get lucky and might be able to see that the supplier is uh, actually found here, which is the ideal situation. So let's say I click here and this has an MOQ of two. Let's see if I can find one with an MOQ of one. One piece. It seems like for Blue's Clues, the minimum order will be uh, two. Anyways, two is not bad compared to the 50, right? Oh, looks like this one has a match. So this one is in Zhejiang and has a minimum order quantity of one. Sweet. Seems like they have experience with these toys. And you can get more customer information or supplier information on the website here. So this is Yanzhou by Beer Toys. It's not the exact same supplier, but you're, you're getting pretty close. See here, it says they have a hotline. If it's a Chinese phone number, I would highly recommend you first check if they have a WeChat account under that phone number. So you just copy and paste this phone number when you search for new contacts on WeChat. And if you're lucky, you'll get the WeChat chat contact and be able to communicate with them directly and quickly based on Chinese um, working hours to be able to talk about business. So that is a method I want to show you on how you can find a supplier for a specific product. I would first see if it's available on Amazon or if you just snap a picture, then find it on Alibaba and filter it by certifications. And then lastly, find it on 1688. But speaking of sourcing, if you guys need some assistance when it comes to actually buying products directly on 1688, Pindodo or Taobao without dealing with having Having an Alipay account, passport, WeChat account, issue with a language barrier of using English or Chinese, you can consider using my website. I have an app for Android or iOS, or you can just directly go to the website, make an account for free, which also has the ability to do reverse image search for a platform you want to search for. So if you want to go to 1688 and you still want to find that same blues clues, you can search for it and filter by suppliers there if you don't know how to use 
the interface 41688. So you can see here, it does the reverse image search and you can see the plush toy for $2.42, whereas here it's around $21. Be careful, this doesn't account for shipping, so make sure you have a freight forwarder or if you wanna use our services, we can act as your freight forwarder as well. So with that being said, what are some things to check that if this company is legit? So back to the supplier we filtered, uh, just to get a reference. So it costs between 15 to 25. So let's say we use this supplier that has a two minimum order quantity for 16 RMB. Uh, if you look up 16 RMB for it's about $2 versus $20, uh, you get the point. I know it's not the exact same product. This is probably a patented IP product, but for non-branded items, you can definitely see the difference there. So let's say I'm interested in that, you can get more company information on 1688 just to make sure they're legit outside of the 168 platform. But honestly, based on their ratings and if they have the, the trade assurance, you can see they have three stars here and here. They've been in business for seven years. They're AAA, they're in Zhejiang. You can see more details about their license. So let's go see if we can look at their license. Sometimes it works, sometimes it does it. It depends on your Alibaba account. Oh, great, it does. So here you can see your license and you can see this is the registration number for their company. So this is a website I like to use called Tian Yin Cha, which uh, you can just paste their company information and it will return to you if they are in business. So I want to translate to English. Sometimes they'll give you a phone number. If you have a paid subscription, then you can see the full phone number. If it's free, you can see, okay, yep, it's still in business. It is located in Zhejiang. He will have the WeChat information. So you can just scan here to contact them on WeChat personally about this specific company. And you can see, okay, when they were established, where they're located, and it would say the different risks for this company. You do have to make an account to be able to see more details, even if it's just for the free method. But that is a method that I will use to kind of double check on the suppliers to make sure they're not scams and they're reliable. From my personal experience, I have used 168 for years. And if you just pick your suppliers wisely, you can literally find any product there and get started with your e-commerce business ASAP. And also from my experience, once you get the WeChat account, you can easily negotiate pricing, talk about business development from there. But you may want to know methods on how you can pay suppliers directly if they only accept Chinese Yuan because they get the cheaper pricing in Chinese Yuan versus USD. So if that interests you, you may want to check out this video right here on exactly how to do so.